Right now, investigators are going over video to find out if a school bus driver charged with abusing a special needs student has done it before. ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon went to Doris A. Sanders Learning Center, where this is not the first time a bus attendant has been arrested. This is the second time since 2017 that a bus attendant has been accused and arrested of allegedly hurting a special needs student. And tonight, I asked the school district what they can do to protect these children. That girl that she hit can't even talk. Emotions are running high surrounding Doris A. Sanders. Richard Cox has lived across the school for more than 30 years. Well, I'm upset, yeah. I see these poor kids every day out here. The latest case, the Polk County Sheriff calls intentional, malicious, and unprovoked. It's beyond me that anybody can do something like that to a youngin. According to reports, Tappan hit one victim 11 times, snapping her with a rubber band. In the video, investigators say Tappan punched other students and also hit them with a seatbelt cutter tool. All the while, many of them aren't able to get away because they're restrained. It's really scary. You got to watch your kids and notice everything. In November of 2017, a bus attendant at the same school was caught on video hitting a special needs student on the bus. That doesn't give her any reason why even to do that. ABC Action News questioned the Polk County School Board to find out what, if anything, will be done to prevent this from happening in the future. The district tells us bus drivers and attendants who serve special needs students get an extra six hours of training each year. But the district will not be providing extra training after this incident. Somebody to do that? They ain't punishment or no. Right now, Tappan is on an administrative leave, and we looked into her history. She has not been in trouble with the district before. In Polk County, Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News.